Get him, Zed. Get him, Zed. Follow the wrong master. Shatter. This game is over. Dude, Zed is awesome. See, this is what you just gotta have Zed against these thrall decks. Just Zed and a bunch of protection. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Zed. We're going to be playing a deck that's just like the Lee Sin Zed deck that we played um, a few days ago, you know, maybe about a week ago or so. And uh, that, that was a lot of fun to play. But as we talked about it uh, during the deck, is that the Lee Sin wasn't really that necessary, but you know, we just wanted to try out Lee Sin with field promotion. Um, but also that the deck would work well with some of the other champions in these regions like Fiora, Shivana, Garen. All of those would be awesome with uh, the field promotion. And so we're going to try it uh, with Fiora this time. So we have um, just 12 units in the deck. We're going to have our two champions, Fiora and Zed. And they're going to be the two most important cards to find. But then for backup, we got River Shaper. So we basically have like the three of them, Fiora, River Shaper, Zed. And then we just have Bla you know, new Blade Keeper that's now a 3-3 that will grant our ally plus 2, plus 2, right? Like, this is basically just some support. So that's it. And then it's all spells. So basically what the goal is, is to get a Fiora, get a Zed, get the field promotion with them so they have scouts they can attack all the time. And then just attack all the time and just do that. And then just use lots of spells to protect them. Because now with these two regions, you have Twin Disciplines and a Sharp Sight. Two wonderful two mana spells to protect them. You can get extra attacks with Cataclysm and Relentless Pursuit. Um, and both of them can allow you with two attacks, right? Because if you Cataclysm with your champion that has Scout, then since you're attacking for the first time with just a Scout, then you get to attack again. <laughs> so Cataclysm is like a, a single combat that allows us to attack again. And then Relentless Pursuit, of course, allows us to attack twice. Uh, we have one rush in here to go along with the Fiora because like round three for one extra mana you like we can go uh, like field promotion Fiora and then rush and then it has you know like the quick attack and be able to challenge two things with that. Uh, we also have the chain vest of course to help uh, keep them alive. But yeah that's that's what our deck's all about. That's what we're going to try to do. So here we go. Let's have some fun with Fiora Zed. Hopefully get some field promotions and get to do lots of attacking. Okay, playing against some thralls to start with. Okay, quad F with the donation deck. So we're going to mulligan the deep meditation, and I think we're going to mulligan Fiora here also, right? Because I, I just don't think, like, against Fiora, uh, sorry, against Lissandra Talia, Fiora's not going to really do as much. We're going to just need to protect this Zed. Protect it as much as we can. Have Zed win it for us. We're all in on one of our champs. Because it's going to be tough for Fiora to kill 8-8s and stay alive. Um, Alright, I can do like Sharp Sight plus 2 plus 2 and then attack for 10. That's not bad, honestly. I think I'll just... I think I'll just hold it though. Zed level is really cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. I think I was going to, so I had the mana. I was going to do both Sharp Side and Twin Disciplines and then still have Deny back up. I don't know what you can really deny because, like, their stuff's burst speed anyway, like their Frostbite. But if I if I go Sharp Side on the Fiora, it can kill the Lissandra. If I go Twin Disciplines, the plus three, plus zero, then they attack for seven. You know, each one attacks for seven, so it's attacking for 14. So it forces them to have Frostbite. If they don't have a Frostbite card, they're dead immediately. And so I think that that was probably just the play. Same thing. I don't think this game's going to be as easy as the last one, because it doesn't really get that easy again. All right, so one chain vest definitely gone. I guess Cataclysm probably gone to want a field promotion. Man, a field promotion would be sick. Come on, field promotion. Scout, Z. Scout, Z. Scout, Z. Scout. Scout. No. Not Zed. I meant, I want the Scout, not the Zed. <laughs> oh, where's the Scout? We got one more draw. Okay, here it is, Scout. Field promotion. Ow. Didn't get there. I am the in the darkness. I do whatever I want. Phone's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I do what I want. Get him, Zed. What is ours. Get him, Zed. Shatter. This game is over. Dude, Zed is awesome. See, this is what you just gotta have Zed against these Thrall decks. Just Zed and a bunch of protection. Like, how do you know what, like, what can they do to stay alive? They can't have harsh winds. Yeah, they just go flash freeze and they die. Oh, okay. That's cool. You can do that. That thing has tough. Still dead. GG's. Alright, so we are 2 and 0. Oh. Then we just, you know, we just rally after that, attack again. Oh, not thralls. Dang, we are actually going to play against a good deck, and this is this is a tough matchup for us too because they have they have a lot of removal with Piltover and Zon, but then they also have the bounce spells of Ionia, right? Like that's I'm worried about Will of Ionia and that kind of stuff because uh, I can't stop that, especially going for a Fiora kill like this. So that's. I don't, I don't send Fiora back, but that's going to be the rough part is Will of Ionia. Ugh. I wish I had Zed in this matchup, though. Oh, we got the field promotion. Field promotion, Fiora. Zed, 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 Zed. Please don't kill my Fiora ever, because if you do, I'll be sad. Pass. 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 What are you doing? Why are you killing my Fiora? I said don't kill my Fiora ever. Let them try me. 
Oh no, I mean, all they have to do is play the card Will of Ionia and the game's over. It, so it's, I wouldn't say it's looking rough for them. Playing Ezreal. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, they're a control deck, so. They could definitely have Will of Ionia in the game ends. This this is a I need a Zed for this matchup, right? Like the Yeah. I need a Zed, not Fiora, because of them being control. Uh which way do we want to go? Let's go with Prismatic Barrier. Strike without worry. I did rally. I played Cataclysm. So I rallied. Face me. I have no equal. Three out of four. Got there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, wow. And they're just... They're just going wild. Alright, good job, Fiora. They kind of played it a little... I don't know, you know, I don't know what's in their hand, but... I feel like they could have slowed down a little bit and not played so many units and just... I, I don't know if they have Will of Ionia, right? Like, I don't know what's in their deck. But like a will of Ionia would have been very important. All right, Jarvan Shen. This is going to be kind of a tough matchup because they, you know, they're going bigger than us, but they're going to have all the same kind of interaction that we do. So this is going to not be easy. Do I want field promotion, River Shaper? Not really. Let's look for Fiora Zed. Oh, there's not a Fiora or a Zed. I probably should have kept the River Shaper. Oh, I'm getting a little punished. Okay, getting a little punished. Little punished. Champion! No. Yep. Aha! Had it the whole time. I am the blade in the darkness. These woods protect their own. Okay, so that was just a sharp sight. Okay. All 
I think I should have passed and not attacked here, because <laughs> I had less mana than they did. Okay. Alright, it worked out, though. At least so far. It has worked out. I should probably just pass. And not get too greedy. With that attack. The king could watch over Ionia. Watch all you want. My order will act. There's not very many good uses for Nobify. Yeah, so they they could have done that last round and killed my Zed. They chose not to. They just went went larger than me. Had this all the exact same interaction I did. They went bigger, and, and of course the uh, spending the mana on the scout. Like so, keeping the scout card lesson learned. I, I think that was a mistake. And I spent two mana on something that doesn't like help me win combat. Because you have to. It's just whoever wins combat wins, right? And so like the scout doesn't help you win the combat. And so then I spent five mana to play my scout and my Zed, and then my opponent just played the one drop in that. And, you know, like, then they just had so much more mana to interact and win combat. Alright, Lurkers. Do I need it? Probably need a mulligan this. Even though it's like the... Because, yeah, if we go Blade Keeper on four, we're not doing that Pursuit for a long time. Do I need a mulligan blade keeper on four and look for like a chain vest or like really cheap interaction? No, let's keep blade keeper. They don't play very much removal, just you know, certainly hoping they don't have the small amount of removal that they do play. Hey trusty noodle. I liked the I liked the golden pike a lot. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It did well. That was a real fun deck to play. Um, we we just lost some close ones against Noxus Aggro, which Noxus Aggro is really, really strong, and that's always been a tough deck for Sharima to defeat. And so we lost some close ones there, but no big deal. That's the... Uh, yeah, so we faced our toughest matchup a couple of times. So we have lots and lots of units on like last game. Darkness. But we don't have any that's the thing is like this this kind of deck you you don't want lots of units, right? So like this is not a good hand like you know, you just want like one Z, one Fiora, you know, like maybe like two units and then protection. We don't want two Zeds and a Fiora and a River Shaper. Some of these extra units are just kinda useless. don't have any we just don't have our protection like we normally do so this doesn't work out like that's the thing you need you need like a champion or two and then you need your protection spells and if you don't have protection spells it's not good so, you know sharp sights our twin disciplines our barriers
actually miss Lurk right there. I'm doing great today, Patek. Hope you're doing good. Claim what is ours. Come on, like one cheap protection spell so we can play Cataclysm plus the protection spell. Perfect. All right, we can go Cataclysm plus Sharp Sight. Perfect. Could go, let's see. All right, if I do this, they would have to have Pike's Champion spell. But if they do, then that's pretty bad for me because then they just do that. But then, but then their Pike goes away also. The Bone Skewer. If I play, I could just play Fiora, and then we have Repost. Because of Bone, you know, Bone Skewer is pretty annoying if I just go Cataclysm. Let's go Fiora, Repost. Bone Skewer doesn't kill it. And they Bone Skewer kill Fiora, whatever. They had the Bone Skewer. But I still got my Scout Zed. Let's go, Scout Zed. And there we go. Play perfectly. All right, four and one. All right, so yeah, so that's really cool. So you know, like we did, we did lose the mirror match where our opponent went bigger, and you know, like we and uh, yeah, so like that that happened. But besides that, you know, just mirror matches and mirror regions where they had like the same interaction. Besides that, these these looked good, and especially Zed, right? Like that's the thing. Like Fiora, you can win some games with Fiora, right? Like we did. We won a game with Fiora. But particularly, Zed looks so good with all the protection for Zed. And then, you know, Zed Relentless Pursuit, Zed Cataclysm, Zed Field Promotion, all of those ways to get extra attacks in with Zed is just awesome. And I think that, you know, Zed's great against the Thrall deck, right? Because the Thralls, like, they're they're slower and they're they're relying on Avalanche and, and stuff like that. And so if you can protect your Zed from Avalanche with Chain Vest, Twin Disciplines, Sharp Sight, those kind of cards... And then you just have, um, you know, then then they're taking a lot of damage, right? It kills them super fast, and they don't really block very well. Basically, just have Lissandra for a blocker. If you're able to use those kind of pump spells for Lissandra, and then you get your extra attacks. I always like finding decks that are good against Thralls. And this one looks pretty good against Thralls. So, um, yeah, there we go. So that's going to be Fiora Zed. Pretty good one. See, that's fun. Really fast games too, right? Like 20 minutes. <laughs> Get five games in. It's awesome. Gotta love it. All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments about the deck. Super fast, quick rank up deck here. You, you know, you're gonna win or lose pretty quickly with this one. Um, mul you know, mulligan for your champions, right? Like make sure, try to find your champions in your opener. You'll have times where you brick and you don't have champions and you just brick and, and you know, like you lose. That's gonna happen. Uh, just don't worry about it. Just do your best at finding your champions and kill your opponents with them. All right, but that's going to be it here for Fiora Zed. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.